John? Yep. Okay, I am going to demonstrate how to remove and replace the bearing in, uh, in this machine. Um, typically the two things that go wrong with this machine is either the motor goes out or more commonly the bearing uh, right in here uh, gets seized up. So basically there's a set screw on the side, there's a little hole right there on the side. If you rotate it around you can see where there's a set screw in there. So I'm going to bring it around, I'm going to put the set the Allen key in there and you don't want to loosen up that set screw. That, that will mess with the, uh, the stroke length if you have the adjustable stroke. So I just do it in there to lock the flywheel and then I remove that screw and you kind of as you remove it if you push down on the drive bar to kind of keep it from, from from following the screw. Okay, take that out. I'll swing it this way so you can see. Um, then you just want to push that bearing out. Just like so. The bearing just comes out nice and easy. And um, this bearing is good, so I'll just put it back in. You want to make sure you're putting the flange in towards the rear of the machine. Put it in there. Pop it in. Sometimes it may be a little stiff, so you may have to like set on the edge of a table and, and kind of push it in. Um, line it back up. You, want, you don't want to over tighten this because the screw you can get it nice and snug, but the screw is, you know, a small diameter screw, so you don't want to break it. And that's it.